Now guys, can we revisit the thick road madness that happened on this past Saturday that was on the night of 17th of April bro because that action by police left very many people going nuts bro especially KOT but I don't know how KOT operates because these guys on Twitter they go absolute ballistic but when it comes to going on the ground say for Mandamano and stuff these guys are nowhere to be seen they are MIA like what's up and you see KOT is a scum Personally, I feel like bro, but anyways, man talking about people getting angry You guys already know that we saw very many artists coming through to use their platforms airing their concerns You know considering that they are part of people who have been largely affected by this lockdown and stuff bro And talking about artists you guys already know that Calligraph Jones has been on the forefront when it comes to this unlock our country We can call it campaign for now, bro. Yeah trying to speak out how he feels about the whole situation situation when it comes to common mona inchi you know now speaking as a common mona inchi not as an artist because he has not been affected largely because he has his side hustle but then he was trying to fit into a common mona inchi shoe bro and now come this past saturday of 17th you know after police mounted roadblocks on major roads this guy had something to say where he went ahead and tried to reach out to william bruto saying that if he helps you know unlock the country this guy will go ahead and campaign for him for free when it comes to 2022 elections bro now going with what he said og through his instagram page came to and posted a photo of ruto right there as you can see and he went ahead to say this and i quote hustler najua utasoma him hustler wanaumia kwa ground watu wanalala nja nyumba zinafungwa if you help us in this situation i'll campaign for you for free in these coming elections kindly help unlock our country and indeed William Ruto came across this because we saw him responding right there as you can see which he came to and talked about talking to fellow artists and other on how mtasaidiana kupeana food you know and number two he said mkipata time ingine kidogo mjipange we share ideas on how we can help the creative industry najua huko kuna talent mingi tu sana but yo some were still doubting that this was William Ruto bro also alongside with that post about Ruto he went ahead and posted another one trying to reach out to Raila Odinga where he went ahead and said this and I quote Baba ya wakitambo ulikuwa unatutetea sana saa hii kenya tunaangamizwa au menyamaza afanya ile kitu uone vile utaingia state house haraka waacha kufanya kunyamaza hivyo yeah those are the two posts which Hoji Kim went shared through his Instagram page and the one that caught eyes of many is that of DP Ruto bro yeah many people were very quick to try or to start judging him saying that he has already ended Drost, you know William Ruto for 2022 and stuff which did not amuse OG because he had come through later on and addressed the whole situation where he came through and said that people should use their common sense and stop spreading propaganda bro now even we go with what this guy came through and said he posted a college photo right there showing DP Ruto and Raila Odinga and he said this and I quote yesterday I put up two posts requesting the two top candidates on the oncoming election to assist with the current state of the country well i'm no politician the agenda of my post are simple and clear we just want the country to be unlocked because kenyans are really suffering lakini sababu watu wengine wanapenda kashesha na akili ni kama kifego ya maembe meanza propaganda hati omolo has endorsed a candidate all in all og shall be respected yeah seems like og was not giving a damn bro yeah he did not care about what people were saying anyways man that is what good concerning og and hustler nation i don't know what you guys think go ahead and drop your thoughts on the comment section subscribe if you haven't followed me on instagram please and i'll see you guys in the next one